What's up guys, Brandon with Strict Vision Athletics. Welcome to today's workout. Today's workout is gonna focus on arms. It's arm day, we're gonna have some fun. So I have got one, two, three, four, five, six exercises for you guys. That's gonna be three supersets, two sets per circuit. And we've got this probably gonna be right around an hour, maybe an hour and 15 for this one. Let's have some fun, it's arm day, why not? So the first exercise, excuse me, the first two exercises are both gonna involve the spider bar. So. You can get this bar from York. I believe it's yorkfitness.com is where I found this. Uh, and essentially this bar is a, it's a wonderful bar for arms. I'll say that right out of the gate. It, it's, it's very odd looking. It's very small. You can see why it's called the spider bar once you see it. And essentially what it allows you to do for this superset is a combination of hammer curls followed by skull crushers without changing the weight. That's what I love about this. This circuit is probably my favorite circuit to do with the spider bar just because of the convenience factor. You don't have to change the weight. You don't have to like go from one to the other with a bunch of different equipment stuff. You can just use the same bar. So for the hammer curls, you're gonna to wanna to have the flat portion of the bar on the top of your wrist. That way that when the weight is sitting in your hands, you've got that flat portion to just kind of sit atop your hand. It fits very nicely in there. Once you start going, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. Then, very important, you're gonna to wanna to switch the bar around to where now the flat portion of the bar is on the bottom portion of my hand. I'm going to lay back, I'm going to grab the spider bar, put it over my head, now I'm doing skull crushers. Now when I do skull crushers, make sure you extend up and behind you. I see too often times people mix up skull crushers with like a JM press or even a close grip bench press. They end up doing stuff like over their chest or they end up like extending and coming up in more of a JM press with a skull crusher you are extending your elbows up, but you are pushing the weight above your head. The spider bar should end up in line with your forehead and then on almost beyond your hairline when you reach full extension of the elbows. That's very important when doing skull crushes of any kind, but especially here when you're doing the bar. And the cool thing about this is that the spider bar, when you set this down, the little handles will set perfectly on either sides of your temple. That's how you know you've completed the rep. So do that. Follow that form and that'll help you out. Next, we have the strong arm curls and the overhead tricep extension using a dumbbell. So the first one is gonna require a very specific piece of equipment from, uh, I believe the strong neck is the name of the company, ironic, because this is called the strong arm. But the strong neck has come out with several different pieces of equipment, and not the least of which is the strong arm. The strong arm is a wonderful piece of equipment for forearm usage, uh, but really it, it ties into everything with your arm. It's really good for arm wrestlers. That's who I saw doing this first. What I'm doing is I'm taking the most proximal end of the bar itself. And when you see this, you'll see there's like three or four different grip variations. I'm grabbing the most proximal option and I'm loading it with a very small marginal amount of resistance, like maybe five or 10 pounds at most. The goal behind this is to keep my palms level, flat, and not to let the bar force me into supination. My goal is to push my palm into pronation as I curl. So as I come up, I'm forcing my palm up and the weight is gonna move up with me as well. And when you see the video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. That load is way out on the edge of the bar on the plate loaded portion of it. And it's pulling my hand into supination just by its design. So your job is to fight that, force it into pronation and do your curls. I do these from a leaning position. So I'm putting my other hand on a rack and I'm just kind of leaning toward the resistance. So that's the strong arm curl. Then we have overhead tricep extension with the dumbbell. Significantly easier to achieve. Uh, for this, all you're gonna need is a, is a heavy-ish dumbbell, maybe 40 or 50 pounds. Keep your elbows together, keep your spine straight. It's probably the only two pieces of advice I would give on these. You guys have seen them. Uh, just target the triceps as best you can. Last superset, we have the tricep extension using a flywheel resistance and then the tsunami bar curl using the flywheel as well. So this is gonna require, if you are to do this, this exact superset, you're gonna need to go to a centric flywheel, you're gonna need the K-Box and you're gonna need the K-Pulley Go. Two very specific pieces of equipment in order to achieve this superset on your own. Now, I'll say this before I even get into it. If you don't have those things, get yourself some dumbbells, do standard curls, and then go to the cable machine and do tricep extension on the cable machine with a rope. That's right out of the gate. If you don't have flywheel, do that. But if you do have flywheel, keep listening because this is important. 
with the flywheel, your resistance is going to answer the amount of inertia that you place onto each individual rep. So when you, starting with tricep extension, when you're on the K-pulley go, set the K-pulley go above your head. It's the first thing I'll say. People do it at eye line. I don't know why. Set it higher. That way you can actually reach full flexion and extension with your uh, triceps. But push the power into your tricep on the way down. So as as we as it goes, when you go through tricep extension and you push down, that's where you want your power. Then your job is to fight the resistance that answers you back when the rope then comes back up. Go through it in a very repetitious motion, pushing down, fighting up, pushing down, fighting up. That's the true power of flywheel is the ability to overload your eccentric, hence the name, and then fight through it and keep going on a tempoed pace. Uh, when it comes to the tsunami bar curls, first off, excuse me, you're, you're going to need the tsunami bar as well. So in order to achieve this, you're not just going to need the eccentric flywheel. You're going to need to go to tsunami and you're going to need to get the level three short bar is I believe what I'm using here. Either level one or level three, you should be fine with either one. This bar is really, truly perfectly matched for this exercise. And I'll tell you why. When the flywheel pulls the bar downward and I activate my contraction very, very fast, if I have a straight bar that has just metal and doesn't have the tsunami technology that has a little flex to it, it can sometimes overload the joint. Now, it's not something to really consider a problem. If you have a normal straight bar, just use a normal straight bar. If you've managed to get the flywheel, the K-pulley go, you're already kind of halfway there. I mean, you really could get away with doing any type of curl with any type of bar using the K-box. The K-box is incredible for these, regardless of what you use, but to me... The match made in heaven is the tsunami short bar with the K box in order to achieve the bar curls. And this is honestly one of the best ways to finish off your arms. I mean, you, the flywheel technology in general, and it's, it's why it's last in this list is designed to push you past your last rep. So if you're trying to force reps, which here in this last superset you are, the flywheel technology is best for this because if you're energy if your inertia depletes and you aren't able to push those reps it doesn't matter it's still going to answer you back with whatever power you put in so if i push it 90 percent for my first five reps then i push it 60 percent for my last five reps the inertia back from the flywheel is going to match that i'm going to get 90 for five then 60 for five so either way it's going to finish you off it's a great superset and it's an awesome workout i hope you guys have fun